Hi guys, Dr. J here. When I started doing these YouTube videos, I asked a donor, what was the most important topic I could cover? The answer was, is it safe to donate? Now, as a kidney donor surgeon with decades of experience, I believe kidney donation is very safe, but let's learn why. Living kidney donation has two types of risks. There's the risk of the surgery, a major operation, and then there's the risk of living with one kidney the rest of your life. We're gonna look at both risks, but let's start with the operation. There's no denying that this is major surgery, even though it is minimally invasive and through small incisions, it is still major surgery from the point of view of your body. And major surgery means there's a risk of dying. Obviously, this is front and foremost in the minds of donors. So what is the risk of dying? Well, Matus and their group looked at about 11,000 donor nephrectomies, so 11,000 living kidney donor removals, and found that two donors died that's a low number considering there are 11,000 or 0.02%. And one donor was in a vegetative state. That's a terrible result, almost equivalent to death. Regardless, if you count the vegetative state, it's one in 3,600 or about one in 4,000. And if you don't count it, it's about one in 5,000 deaths. How does that risk compare to other things like accidents and diseases? Well, we have some sources of relative risks of these issues. And if you look at the disease and accidental causes of deaths and the risk of dying during your lifetime, the donor risk has about the same risk as dying from taking a plane. And it's slightly less risk or about the same risk as dying from riding a bicycle. So the risk of dying in your lifetime from a bike accident or air accident is about the same as the donor risk. The donor risk is less than the risk of dying from falling and much, much less than the risk of dying from a car accident. So if you consider that these are activities that we do routinely, the risk of donation is very small. In contrast, the risk of dying on dialysis is quite elevated. So per year, a 66 to 74 year old has a one in four chance of dying on dialysis, but the same age group on patients who don't need dialysis is one in 40. So a hugely increased risk and a transplant will decrease that risk. So the donor has to weigh the risk to themselves, which is quite small, but not non-existent versus the risk of their loved one dying, which is very significant. The other type of risk is the risk of living with one kidney. So you've made it through the operation and now you have one kidney for the rest of your life. What is that risk? What happens to, pe to people who lose a kidney? We can look at that, not just donors. So here are the kidneys. They're on each side of the spine, which we will represent like this. So let's say the patient has a kidney with a cancer on it or some other reason to remove the kidney. After that kidney is removed, that patient can then be followed for the rest of their life to see the effect of a kidney removal on the rest of the life. For example, in children with a cancer or various reasons to lose a kidney, if that kidney is removed, and this study took 111 children with a kidney that was removed during childhood, and then looked at what happened 25 years later when they were adults, was there any negative sequela? And what they found is blood pressure was okay, blood pressure being controlled by the kidney to a large extent, and kidney function was also okay. So apparently no negative sequela. In another study, this time with servicemen, and the study followed these servicemen for a very long follow-up, 45 years, which is really excellent for this kind of study. And they found that there were no adverse consequences and no increased deaths in the servicemen who had a kidney removed. What about kidney donors though? They start out very healthy. Is it possible that kidney donation makes them unhealthy? For that, we have to go to Sweden where they did a study on this. 430 Swedish donors were followed. 20 years later, they looked at survival and they found that the expected survival for that cohort of patients was 66%, but the actual survival was 85%. So kidney donors actually lived longer than expected. And when I give the statistics to donors, some donors immediately say, donors took care of themselves more after donation. And certainly that's true in some cases because we have donors quit smoking and the effect of smoking is so detrimental compared to the possible effect of donation that if you quit smoking, that's a huge advantage compared to anything that donation could cause. My favorite theory is that donors get good karma points for donating and as a result of these good karma points live longer. Really though, the thing is, donors are very, very healthy to start with. So rather than becoming unhealthy, 
donors remain very healthy. So they start out very healthy, that's known, and they remain very healthy. So they start out healthier than average, and the study shows us that they remain healthier than average. So it appears that donating kidney does not cause a donor to become unhealthy and therefore is not a health risk. So we have a study with 111 kids at 25 years, we have 62 servicemen at 45 years, and we have 430 donors at 20 years. All of these studies show that living with one kidney is safe. So I think we can be really and say that kidney donation is safe, both from the point of view of the surgery and living with one kidney.